today's tip is to plan ahead. That is, meal plan ahead. A question was posted to me recently asking, what is one healthy habit that I've adopted that has had a huge impact on my health? Well, as I'm sure you can tell from the title of this podcast, that habit would be meal planning. And not only has meal planning had a positive impact on my health, it's also saved me money and reduced weeknight stress. Now, meal planning may sound like a lot of work, but it's actually much easier and takes way less time than you think. And there are so many reasons why you'll want to start it this week. First of all, and likely most obvious, is that by planning what you will make for dinner each night, you ensure that most of your meals during the week are homemade. You probably know that meals cooked at home are lower in calories compared to that of restaurant food. But they also tend to have more fiber and vegetables and often have fewer carbohydrates, less sodium, sugar, and unhealthy fats. Cooking meals at home increases your chance of reaching your health goals, no matter if those are to lose weight, improve your heart health, or keep blood sugar in check. And meal planning is what gives you the ingredients and energy to actually make this happen on a regular basis. Now, since you're eating at home more often, you will also save money. Did you know that compared to a meal made at home, that same dish purchased from a restaurant is five times more expensive? It's also three times more expensive if if it's a delivered meal kit. That really adds up over the month. Meal planning also saves you money when you go grocery shopping because you can focus on only buying food that you will actually eat instead of buying a bunch of extra stuff that just sits in the fridge unused until it goes bad. The third benefit of meal planning ahead and for me the most impactful, is that it makes my weeknights way less stressful. It takes dinner time decision making out of the equation. I don't end up at home after a long day, staring at my fridge or pantry, trying to figure out how to turn less than inspiring ingredients into a healthy meal. I just check my list, see what I had planned for dinner, and go about making it. Actually, I check my list the night before, just in case it requires taking meat out of the freezer. Now, like I mentioned earlier, meal planning doesn't need to take a lot of time and effort. You don't necessarily have to plan every single snack and meal each week. I usually just plan out a week's worth of dinners before I go grocery shopping. To make this even easier, I started a Google spreadsheet that has a list of meals that my family likes along with a few notes like how long it takes or where I found the recipe. Now I just refer to this list and the meals practically plan themselves. The only other issue I ever run into now is where to find new recipes when I get bored of the same old stuff. When I need some inspiration, I usually check out Pinterest or I just Google a few ingredients that I have on hand and see what recipe pops up. There are also many free recipe apps like Epicurious, Yumly, or All Recipes that allow you to sort by ingredient or time required and include step-by-step instructions or how-to videos. You can follow the link in the show notes for a handy, quick reference list of some of the quick and healthy recipes I've tested out on my family, then added to my blog. So, the next time you're planning a trip to the grocery store, take some time to plan just a few meals and add the necessary ingredients to your grocery list. And be sure to keep track of your favorite meals to make each subsequent plan even easier. By planning ahead, you can save time and money, reduce weeknight dinner stress, and improve your health. Willpower not required.